Hi, um, doing a camper, cam camper van conversion on my T5 shuttle, uh, and I've got Evo Design. Oh, I can't remember the number. It's probably the cheapest one you get, actually, the 2.0 or 1.0. Um, anyway, this is the kit. Uh, comes in a million pieces of wood, and it looks a bit daunting, and the instructions are a bit vague. But once you get cracking on, once you get your head around it, it's not too bad. Once you, you know, like try and sort out all the pieces of wood into, uh, into the different sections, you know, the front cupboard, the rear wardrobe, you get an overlocker uh, table, obviously. And uh, once you start laying it all out, uh, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, but one of the worst bits is the edge trim. Right, I'm on the floor here. Uh, I've got a bit of cardboard on the floor to protect the carpet. Just doing it in my living room. Uh, and the edge trim is, I've gone for the dark grey, I've got the Zebrano dark with dark grey edge trim and you've got to knock all this into, into all the, every piece that's got a groove, every piece has got a groove, it's got to be done and this is a, this is a cupboard door and obviously that's the uh, inside and that's the, the outside. Uh, so you want the lip on the outside, so there's a lip on every piece uh, and you start, well I've been doing, the, like the drawers and things, I've been starting from the bottom, going all the way around, ending it at the bottom. The cupboard doors I've been starting on the hinge, on the hinge side in the middle and finishing there. You could start on the bottom as well, on the doors prob probably, but uh, I've been doing the hinge side. So the lip, I don't know if you could see that. It's like the profile. It's got a little lip. The little lips on this side. It's easy to, uh, once you see it, it's easy. And then what I'm going to do is on the, 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 the edge that goes into the groove, I'm going to take about five millimeters, well, four millimeters off, cut it off, flush. I'll show you in a minute. Just do it with a knife. It's quite sharp, so you've got to watch what you're doing. And then right there, you go. You see what I've done there? I've taken about five mils off the edge that goes into the groove, and I'll show you why I do that later. It's uh, just easier to join up, join the two parts together when you're... Right, so anyway, I'm going to start. So I'm going to start in the middle on the side where the hinges go. And I've got, I haven't got a rubber mallet. And I haven't got one of them set square things, them special set square things that you see on the Evo Design website video. Uh, I have got uh, quite a small hammer and it's got like a uh, cloth on it and it's got a bit of rubber underneath that cloth not not the metal face it's not the metal face underneath the cloth it's uh, I've taped in a piece of piece of rubber uh, headline around and then cloth over the top of that and that seems to be doing the trick just so you don't mark the plastic so anyway you get your plastic halfway along there roughly and then knock it into the groove and you've got to be quite, it's quite hard to get it in there and you get, you might get little bumps along here, like little, you know, just once you've finished you can just knock them down flat. And then the corners, you've got to scallop the corners, you've probably seen, seen the video, if you've looked at the Evo Design video. Um, I'll just move this down and see if you can see. And then what I do is cut straight into the the bit that goes into the groove, straight in, and then pull it back slightly, and then you've got a little nick there, and then just take a V off each side. Now you've got to be careful that you don't, with a scalpel, touch the edge, the front edge, because it's easy to take that front edge off because it sticks up. So this is the back edge, so the knife's against the back edge, 
So if there's any going to be any mistakes, it's going to be in the back edge, not the front. You don't want to put the knife into that, that front edge because it'll leave a nick and it'll, you'll, it'll shoot up. So there you go. See, I've just taken the scallop it there. So that goes around that corner nicely. Right, and then just knock it in and then pull that quite tight along the edge and then give it a good knock and then that's that corner pretty much done on the other side right um, I'm going to do the other three corners I'll do the other three corners uh, and then I'll get back to the, the finish where you join it and I'll show you how, how to join it up my way Right, we're nearly back at the, uh, to the to the start where I started it. And it's like that. This is still attached to the roll. So what I'm going to do, put that camera down here, is I'm going to cut off. And I've been using a pair of like uh, they're like wire cutters, but they're so cut off at least five millimeters on you know overlapping. So you end up like that, so it's overlapping. And then, see, I'll put it that way. So, you, and then knock it down as far as you can, like that. So it's overlapping. Right, and this is the bit you're going to be pretty precise. Um, it's probably the trickiest part, and uh, you've got to just like concentrate a little bit while you're doing this. Right, here we go. You put your knife vertical straight as you can on top and you want about three millimeters over on the overlap so if you can see that there i'm going to cut straight down the top part of the edge trim right into the bottom part and make sure you get the bottom part as well all the way down and uh, cut right in. Hope you can see what I'm doing now. Basically, I've just cut straight down. And it's like that. The top bit's just falling out. And then I'm going to just lift that up slightly and pull that piece piece off. That piece was the bottom part, on the bottom part. And the reason I took the 5 mil bit that goes into the edge trim to begin with is because if you don't do that, you kind of get this bit out, or it's very difficult to get it out. So anyway, that's what you end up with. And I'm just going to knock that flat now. And there you go. And it's, well, it's nearly invisible. You could, obviously you can see, you know, there's the edge. And it's, uh, pretty much pretty much invisible and it's a perfect join just make sure when you get the knife as vertically as you can and just chop down both bits of edge trim into the bottom one and knock it in and uh, yeah that's pretty perfect right I forgot I forgot one thing when you put the edge trim on past the hinges there's a the bit that goes into the groove sticks out into this uh, circular part where the hinge goes and you've just got to get your Stanley knife your uh, blade and get it in there and cut that bit off otherwise the hinge doesn't go in uh, just one thing that I forgot there no problem see you later right hi there uh, edge trim on a pretty simple piece like this and this is uh, for your Locker, over bed locker. This is the side part, and it, I think the whole thing, the whole like, drawer kind of swivels down to open it. Uh, so, just going to show you quickly how to put edge trim on here on a, on a, on a simple uh, piece like this. So, you get your edge trim, 
and we'll start with uh, so that's your outer edge, that's your inside, that's your outside. If if they're quite rough, the edges, just take a little bit of take a little bit of emery cloth and just go around the edges. Just a quick uh, just take the sharp edges off because what can happen is the, the lip on the edge trim can catch the edge of the uh, the, the like the laminate, the, like the, the Zabrano finish, and I could chip it. So I just take a little bit of sandpaper around. Uh, I have done that on on them all, just the ones that look a little bit rough. Uh, right, yeah, so here we go. So this is the outside. So make sure the trim edge, the trim goes out, and just overlap it by a few millimeters. You don't need a lot. You don't have to overlap it much. And uh, I'll, put, I'll put this down, show you. So I've made a start, we've knocked it in. That's, I haven't overlapped it enough. So we'll just overlap it, just a millimetre mill or two is enough. It's getting quite tangled this stuff, it's getting, it's getting down now because I'm nearly finished. Well, I've got a top locker to do, I think, and uh, I've nearly finished all the edge trim. So just, if you're going around a curve like this one, uh, just get it flat along the edge first before you start going around the curve, and then just pull it, pull it tight around the edge. Hold it with your finger and just, just knock it in. And then straight down the side. You might not be able to see that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Just look it all in. See, it's all attached, you know. I do that so I don't waste any, you know, try and, uh, some of the bits you maybe have to just um, measure a little bit and cut it before you start putting it in. Especially on the, uh, on the I've got some um, little shell things on, this, on the side of the cupboard. Uh, they were a, they were an optional extra, and they are quite tight to get the to get the uh, edge trim in. You might have to use a smaller hammer or something you can put in there uh, to get it in because you, you, it's not big enough to get a good swing. Anyway, we've got that more or less in, and then Stanley knife, and I just rest the knife against the edge and just. Cut to the middle on both sides, and then uh, you've got to watch the middle bit. That's it. There you go. That's uh, that edge done, and then the same on this side. Just cut to the middle. Well, watch not cut yourself. I've cut myself a couple of times. And then there's the other edge. So it's all all flush. You can see this is not knocked down properly yet. It's still uh, a bit of a groove there. Uh, so you've got to make sure it's all quite knocked in properly. You'll probably see here as well. See that's not knocked in, right? But you just uh, go along. Going to be quite hard. It's uh, you know once it's in there, it's uh, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And that's pretty much that's all in now. See that it's uh, all pretty straight now. There might be a couple of little bumps that need doing. Yeah, and anyway, hopefully I'll give you a few tips on uh, how it goes on because I had a look around and especially cutting it, you know, when you're doing the, these are quite easy to cut, uh, when you're when you're doing the doors and the, and the drawers, uh, I couldn't really find anything uh, how to do it without, you know, if you haven't got the proper tools, so that's one way of doing it. 
Thanks for watching.